channel you know that I really like to incorporate a lot of drugstore products in my videos as well as high-end products as well however I know that not all of us can afford high-end products especially with how expensive they can be for what you get personally for me I'm one of those people even though I do have high-end makeup products I do like to pick and choose what I spend my money on and if it's something as little as like foundation or mascara or concealer, things that you replace all the time, I really love diving into the drugstore and finding something because there are a lot of high quality products at the drugstore even though they are at a lower, cheaper price. There are definitely some hidden gems in the drugstore, which is why I really wanted to kind of dedicate a video to strictly all drugstore products. Because you can achieve a glamorous makeup look using affordable products and not having to spend your entire paycheck at Sephora or Ulta. So I created this look right here using all makeup from the drugstore. I really wanted to create something that is very summer appropriate. So I really went for a very warm and coppery look on the eyes. I would also like to announce that this video is going to be a collaboration with one of my friends here on YouTube. Her name is Valerie and she is a makeup artist and a hairstylist. Her channel covers everything beauty from hair to makeup to even fashion and I love her channel. Ever since I found it, I've always wanted to collaborate with her, so I'm really excited that we are finally getting the chance to do so. We both wanted to do a night out makeup look using all drugstore products, so please head on over to her channel and check out the look that she created. Please like her video and subscribe to her channel because I would love to see her channel grow even bigger than it already is. She definitely deserves it because she is one of the sweetest people here on YouTube and I personally love watching her videos. So please head on over to her, tell her that I sent you if you are indeed coming from my channel. I will link all of her information down below. If you are new to my channel or coming over from Valerie's channel, then welcome. I hope you guys are here to stay. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for any videos in the future. And if you would like to see how I created this makeup look right here, then please keep watching. Okay guys, so the first thing that I'm doing is going in with a smoothing primer. This one is from Maybelline and it's the Blur and Smooth Master Studio Primer. And I am patting it into the areas where I have the largest pores, which is right around the nose area, underneath the eyes, and along my cheekbones. Next I'm going in with the Luminizing Primer. This is the Lumi one from L'Oreal. And it's just to bring forth some luminosity throughout our foundation and not necessarily to prime the skin. Then I went into the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and applied it with my Beauty Blender. And then I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25 Medium. I apply the concealer underneath my eyes and also bring it up onto the eyelids. And then I also like to apply it on the forehead, the cupid's bow, and the chin just to balance out the highlight all across the face. And then I like to go in with my Cody Airspun Loose Powder and I am taking a Morphe M438 brush and applying the powder to the areas on the forehead, the nose, the cupid's bow, the chin. And then I'm taking my damp beauty blender and applying the powder underneath the eyes. The damp beauty blender is going to apply the powder a lot more flawlessly underneath the eyes and create more of an airbrushed finish. Next, I am going in with my NYX primer and applying it to the eyelids and then I'm setting that with the Airspun Loose Powder. And then I am taking the NYX 
Love in Paris eyeshadow palette and it is in the shade Merci Beaucoup. Please forgive me if I just butchered it, but that is what it is called. And I took the peach shade and applied it in the crease. Next, I am going in with the NYX Primal Colors eyeshadow in the shade Hot Orange and applying that in the crease as well as on the inner and outer corners. Then I'm going into the maroon shade in the palette and using my e.l.f. blending brush and applying it in the inner corner, the outer corner, and along the crease just a little bit lower than the hot orange shade that we applied. And this is going to make the eyeshadow look a lot more rusty in color, bring a little bit more red to it, and give it a little bit more dimension. Then I'm going into the middle shadow and I applied that to the inner and outer corners once again and along the crease. And I'm doing the same thing with the smoky gray shadow in the palette as well. If you guys couldn't already tell, we are using the halo method of applying our eyeshadow and that is what I wanted to do today. So then on the center of the lid, I'm applying the NYX eyeshadow. It is the prismatic shadow in the shade Fireball. And I used my Eco Tools shader brush to apply that to the center of the lid. And I just blended all of those out with my e.l.f. blending brush. Then I'm going in with the white eyeshadow and applying it to the brow bone. And then I'm going in with the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. I can't find the shade, but I will leave it down below in the description box. But what I am doing is using the glittery side of the eye art from Revlon and applying it to the center of the lid and then blending it out with my finger just to make it a little bit more thin. And then I'm going in with the NYX glitter in the shade Copper and applying that right on top while the eye art is still wet because it's going to act as our glitter glue. So after we applied the glitter, I went in with my Jordana Easy Liner in Jet Black and applied it to the upper and bottom waterline. And then I am applying the Hot Orange NYX Shadow on the lower lash line to smudge out that liner. And then I'm taking the Rusty Red color from the eyeshadow palette to smudge it out even more using my flat definer brush. Then I am taking the Shimmery Cream color from the same eyeshadow palette and applying it to the inner corner and then I'm going in with my favorite liquid liner of all time and that is the NYC black liquid liner and I am applying the thinnest line that I possibly can as you guys know I like to go pretty heavy-handed on the eyeliner and usually ends up pretty thick on my lid but this time I really wanted the glitter to show through which is why I applied the thinnest line as possible after that, I went in with my mascara and my lashes. The lashes that I used today are the Ardell Studio FX in the style 110. So then I'm going in with the Milani XL Bronzer and the warmest side, the warmest side, and taking it to bronze the face, and then I'm taking the cool side and using it to contour. After that, I'm taking the baked blush from Milani in the shade Rose Doro and applying it to the cheeks and then I'm going in with the new Wet n Wild highlighting powder in the shade Precious Petals and applying it to the cheekbones and on top of the cupid's bow. I know this highlighter is very hard to find but I really wanted to show you guys how it works on top of the skin and it is absolutely beautiful. If you can't find this I highly recommend the Hard Candy Baked Bronzer in the shade Tiki. Even though it's a bronzer, it is light enough to be a highlight and it is one of my all-time favorite highlighters from the drugstore. After that, I am applying the Maybelline Color Whisper in the shade Coral Ambition and then I am tapping it out with my finger just to blend it in into the lips. And then I'm taking the Revlon Ultra HD Lip Lacquer in the shade Sandstone and I just applied that right over top. So that completes this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out Valerie's channel. I will link her information down below. Please like this video and subscribe for any videos in the future. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye guys.